When thinking about reversal structure, you have to think about how that structure is built. Range initiation mitigation continuation identifies these phases that we need to observe in order to see reversal structure, one, come into the market, and two, reverse in the opposite direction. If you want to be a part of these moves and seek to participate in those reversal trades, we must first understand the RIMC hundred is allowing us to build an understanding of how these phases can deliver. And within our sessions, what we can do is observe that price delivery. When we think about range initiation, mitigation, continuation, we can start to focus on each of these phases to build the understanding necessary. Today, what we're gonna focus on is the continuation process. Reversals, how do they set up? They set up by moving in one direction and then moving in the opposite direction. So in order for us to catch a high and to understand that, we first must understand price continuing. This RIMC method is gonna give us that visual understanding and allow us to know when to look for these processes. So first, range initiation, mitigation, continuation for methods of understanding each phase of the market. This must be understood in order to see this correctly. Bullish continuation, this is what we need to understand. How can we identify this in the market? Not in hindsight, but right now. In bullish continuation, a new low in the market will create a new high. A new high in the market will create a new low. A new low in the market create a new high. And a new high in the market will create a new low. And so on. A new low in the market will create a new high. The repeatable process here that we're seeing is that when we are in bullish continuation, price is moving above its previous high. And when we see this delivery, we can say that we are in continuation because those lows in the market that we can identify are new, they have been created, and those lows have moved on to move above previous high. Over time, we see that price is increasing. And it's in these A to Bs that we can start to observe the variations of delivery. The same goes for bearish delivery. When we see new lows being taken and new highs being created, we can also confirm that price is in continuation. It's this observation that leads to a move in the opposite direction. Once price has reached a point of mitigation, we can see the opposite come into the market, meaning that now price can start to create opposite intention. This is how you identify continuation. And this is a process we can use in our session in the moment to understand the current delivery. What we can also see in that continuation price delivery is when price creates new highs, new lows, new highs, new lows, new highs, and then moves beyond its previous low and then continue to create a new high. These highs that are created, what can we see? Prices continuing above. So even though we've seen price take its previous low here, the fact that we've seen a continuation above a previous high in this bullish market that we can identify it, we understand that this is equal to the same thing. This is still continuation. And these are observations we can use in our sessions. And this is really gonna help us identify how price is delivering and identify when we can start to see these reversals come into the market. This is continuation, and this is how you identify it. When we're observing this continuation delivery, there's going to be two main things that we want to pay attention to, and they are two phases that we already know about. That's a range phase and an initiation phase. You want to be able to identify between these two types of delivery. Even though we might see price moving down, and you may feel that price is in a bearish trend, what we can see often is price move immediately against that trend. And other times you see price moving in that trend and continuing in that trend. Now, what are the differences here and what are the characteristics that we can pay attention to? There's gonna be two types that we need to focus on when observing a potential reversal. And they are when price is in that continuation phase, we really want to pay attention to how price is delivering between those A to B points, because it's in this observation that we will start to see the potential of price. So what do we need to know to identify this? Well, we want to see 
fast delivery versus slow delivery. We can see the difference between these two representations of price that one is moving at a greater distance, continuing above its previous highs, and the other is moving slow, moving above or below its previous high lows and not extending away from those previous highs or previous lows. Fast delivery versus slow delivery. A very simple concept and a very simple observation. All we need to see here is how price is delivering at the moment. Are we extending away or is price not extending away? It's quite easy to see because as we know, when price moves beyond its previous highs, we're looking for price to move away and extend. And when price is moving below its previous lows and there's a lack of extension, we can understand this is a repeatable observation. So what's important here? Well, part of our process within range initiation, mitigation, continuation are range phases. And the reasons why we pay attention to these locations is because we know what's happening at this point in between these two price levels. That's the people that control the market, banks and financial institutions, they are stacking their positions in these locations. So when we see a representation of sideways delivery, which is slow, which is a representation of price not extending, this is a fact. We understand that the participants that move the market and drive the market are currently participating and stacking their orders ready for the next move. This representation in price here is price ranging. That's a nice, easy observation for us because we can see here price is not extending away and actually we're contained within price. We know that this delivery typically leads to an initiation and what we're looking for is where that initiation is going to come in. Is it going to be bullish or will it be bearish? We don't know. This is our observation. This is what we're trying to understand. But when we do see that initiation away from this range, we know we have, again, a repeatable observation. This is what we want to anticipate. This is going to help us understand fast and slow delivery. If we know that a range phase is going to lead to an initiation phase as per our process, range initiation, then we know that when we start to see this range slow delivery, we can see a reversal. And that's amazing to know because that means we have a repeated observation. Every time price slows down, we can look for what? We can look for a possible initiation in price. And maybe we are at a point of location within our chart that we can start to look for the opposite intention, meaning we can see this continuation turn into a reversal. Slow delivery moving up and a fast delivery moving away. This creates our range initiation process. This is how we know BFI to manipulate price, and this is where they execute within the chart. So this is our observation. This builds our understanding on being on the correct side of that intention once it's shown. But the main point now, reversals. So putting these theories together, essentially what we want when we're looking at a reversal is to one, see price showing a lack of extension. We want price to be at a point of mitigation, then we want to see price move in the opposite direction. This is going to allow us to observe that slow delivery and that stacking delivery that the BFIs go through in order to create lower prices. This is a repeatable observation. We're going to go over this on the chart. We're going to pair these concepts together and we're going to see how one repeatable observation knowing where to look for this type of delivery can allow us to participate in those reversal trades. Remember, yes, we want to be a part of them. Yes, we want to participate, but first you must understand. And can you see that understanding continuation and the phase that price delivery is in is really going to help you hit this with a high probable ratio based on price reacting out of a previous range. And this is why I come back to our range initiation mitigation continuation method because we don't just look for reversals anywhere on a chart we're actually looking for reversals at points of mitigation so key and when price moves into those points of mitigation we have the correct observations the understanding of how price delivers in order to get ourselves in that reversal trade this is one of my favorite setups it is the bread and butter and when price is moving into a point of mitigation we can see a move in opposite direction and typically price sets up very very nicely these are the biggest ROM views that you can really achieve in the market. But most importantly, we can understand the phase that price is in. You don't necessarily need to enter within this reversal point. 
But the fact you understand that this is a reversal means you perhaps you can play the continuation of that move, right? So really, really key. And it keeps you trading against the intention in the wrong direction and keeps you on the right side of the market. Before we get into these examples, let's take a pause and think about what we've covered. So far, we've gone over range, initiation, mitigation, continuation to understand each phase of the market. It's within this we can understand where price is located and the intentions that could come into the market. When we're thinking about reversals, this is important. We can see here that knowing the location of price can help us understand where those reversals can come in in the market. And this is what we can continue to observe. On this chart, we can see so far that there's a high in the market and there's a low in the market. And price over time has been moving above its previous highs and continuing. Moving above its previous highs and continuing. And we see price continues to move up above its previous highs and continuing. Now quite clearly we can see that we have this low in the market and price is currently increasing and moving away from its low. That gives us that A to B process that we know we look for. If this is not familiar to you, think about range, initiation, process of a pullback from mitigation and that mitigation process. That's what we're currently following. This is range initiation mitigation. This is a high probability example of expecting a reversal in the markets. So as we saw, price is continuing higher and then price starts to move sideways. We can see here price has been fast in that move up and then slow in that sideways delivery. And we see that price is actually not continuing, either bearish or bullish. It's actually being contained. We know what's happening here. BFI is a stack of those orders. We can identify this as a range. This is price delivering sideways. We can see this is slow. This is price delivering fast. We can see that intention. Price moving above its previous high. And what are we looking for? We're looking for that extension. Price moves above its previous high. Pulls back. Looking for that continuation in price. What can we see? Price moving above its previous high. It's no longer extending. So we can identify this as slow delivery. Price has closed back into the range. We go from the lowest point to the highest point. This is where we're starting to see price contained. And we will start to observe how price delivers here. We can see then price is starting to move away from this range now. That's interesting. We see that we're coming out of a point of mitigation. And this would be that continuation phase part of our RIMC method. This is what we'll be anticipating. And likely these lows and high prices will be targets for that delivery. So here we have a mitigation out of a previous range. We can see here we have this inside bar. We know what that means in the lower time frame. Again, if you're not sure, do you watch the rest of our videos? And we can see that initiation structure starting to present to us. Price pull back, respect the range and continue into lower prices. What can we see here? We can start to refine perhaps those points of interest to be involved. But what do we notice in price as we start to move into this location? And the first part of this is knowing this is a point of interest. And then when we get into that location, what we want to do is observe how price is delivering. And what can we see? Price moving above its previous highs and not extending, creating this fractal high. And then we start to see intention being shown in the opposite direction and then we get that process of range initiation all back for mitigation and then continuation into low prices we're seeing these concepts play out time and time again and when we think about timing look at how precise we can be a nice reversal opportunity to be a part of what can we observe in hindsight or well, we can see prices continue past this previous low for that continuation in price range initiation mitigation continuation and the next example, what can we see? We can see price once again, moving sideways. We see price moving away from that location, creating lower prices, showing intention. And when price returns into that location, that range mitigation, we can start to expect a reversal. And you can see here in this example, price is moving up really quickly. The identification of a reversal is first watching price slow down. And what we can identify here, even on this one hour chart, is that sideways delivery. These are our opportunities to then start observing the opposite intention come in. You see price run above its previous high and there's a lack of extension. And we immediately start moving in the opposite direction. What do we know this is? We know that this is a point of mitigation based on the intention shown. 
and we'll be looking for price to move past its previous low to follow that continuation process. So another great observation here, even on the higher time frame. So moving on to our next example, and if you watched my last video, we talked about continuation trades. We knew that we wanted to take those trades in a phase of initiation, and knowing that this is a continuation phase after a mitigation, we can identify this as a initiation in price. What did I say in that video? In initiation phases, right, when price is continuing, we can trade at low prices as long as we see an initiation in price and we see initiation structure. And that's what we see here. What do we notice? That as price is moving down, price is not pulling back into 50% of the low A to Bs is creating. So we can expect that when price does pull back in that initiation phase, likely the ranges that have been created in that move down will become future points of interest and points of mitigation. I was talking about that on a one minute chart, but we know that our concepts of fractal if it works in the lower time frame, it also works in the higher time frame. And here we can see that sell low condition being presented to us. This is the current trading day. We're going over quite recent data. If you do trade EU, have a look at this position. It's going to be very recognizable. As we can see, price is moving into this location. We can expect price to reverse at this location. We are following that bearish initiation structure. When we come into this location, what I would want to observe now is how is price delivering? And we can see here, even on this time frame, price is moving above its previous high. We can see here price didn't extend, pulled back in. We got that sideways delivery and we saw that initiation in price. We see that above that previous high, price is extending and that's nice to see. So again, what we're observing here then is price makes a previous high. We know that price moving above means that price is continuing. So when we do move into higher prices here, quite immediately what we see is price reverse in the opposite direction. Now, there's no way to know this was going to happen, but one thing we can do here is observe. And this observation leads to us observing and move in the opposite direction. So we can start to mark that out, move in the opposite direction. And if we play this forward, we can start to see the market move sideways. This is great. We are moving into that previous range. We are starting to now move sideways. And now this is the observation of price slowing down. So even though we've seen price continue and extend, Yes, that is a fact observation. What we are seeing with the continuation of the observation is now price is slowing down. We know that when price starts to slow down and starts to move sideways, that can bring that initiation in price. Why? Because we know that ranges lead to initiations. At this point, the observation would be to see price start to initiate out the range. What do we start to see? Price moving in the opposite direction. We do break the low, we are moving sideways, and then price we'll see continues out the range here. Without knowing this location, without having the ability to understand the process of mitigations, this price delivery is meaningless. But knowing that I have processes to observe how price delivers at these locations means that I can build processes that I can use to execute within that understanding. Here's a lower time frame range opportunity. This is a trade that I was involved in that I did take for lower prices. This is the trade opportunity that I took into lower prices following the mitigation of this range and taking it after that moves away from that range. So lower time frame. if you do want to see this in more detail, go ahead and head down to the one minute on this time frame, and you will see exactly how I was able to execute with my stop in a safe location. Following that mitigation, that reversal in price, the continuation phase that we know that can come in, we have a previous range. And at that range, we do have stacks lows have presented themselves. We see this in this full picture. We can see the process of mitigation and now we'll be anticipating a continuation in price. And if I play this forward, you can see price does exactly that all the way up until this current time. This is live price. We do understand that now if this is mitigation continuation then these lows here will be the target for price. I know everyone's going to be watching on Sunday. This would be a good observation to see in the market to see if price does continue to take its previous low and continue to extend in the bearish direction. So you can clearly see to be a part of these reversal opportunities, we first need to understand the RIMC method. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one.